Hello friends, I welcome you all to online learning YouTube channel. Today, I am going to discuss the previous year MCQ questions of Java for InfiTQ 2023 batch. And if you want to get any updates related to InfiTQ or hack with Infi, join this Telegram channel. The link will be given in the description. And to follow all the updates and any type of preparation videos join our youtube channel and follow it and subscribe it now without wasting much time let us move to the first question in first question what is it is given what will be the output of the below code so in this type of question it is very necessary to read and understand the question properly because the answer is present in the question only so it is given public class demo okay then a main function public static void main is given then we have two variables int a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 2 then we have to print something what we have to print if a less than b then we have a ternary operator here what do you mean by a ternary operator ternary operator is just like if or else if this condition is true then it will move to the first part of this colon and if the condition is false it will move to the second part of the colon so is 10 less than 2 no it is wrong so it will move to the second part what is second part minus minus b okay minus minus b means we have to decrement first then we will assign the value because it is a pre-increment operator so b is 2 then minus minus 2 it will become 1 so your answer will be option 2 that is 1 hope you have understood if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section now let us move to the next question same we have to find the output of the below code okay then it is given public static void main string args int i is equal to 10 if i means if true then we have to print this hello if it is false then we have to print by but if you see carefully what is the data type of i it is an integer but to be true it should be a boolean isn't it true or false are present in boolean data type okay so as yes, int cannot be converted to boolean it will give compilation error so your answer will be compilation error cannot convert from int to boolean so your option will be third now let us move to the next question so we have to again find the output of the below code it is given int roll number is equal to 101 then it is given float new roll number is equal to roll number that is a assignment operator is given and we are putting the roll number which data type is integer we are putting in the float type as float has a wider range then int int is a subset of float if this is int then this is float so int can be present in float okay now we are printing system dot out print ln new roll number as in float we means decimal number then after 101 there will be a point zero because it will tell that it is in float or that is it is a decimal number so the answer will be 101.0 so int will be converted to float because float is higher or its range is higher so it can accommodate the value of int and it will typecast it to the float okay so answer will be 101.0 so it is right 
now it is given what is the correct order of widening conversation of for the below data types it is given byte double int short so byte is the least double is the highest after byte short comes then int comes so your answer will be this byte then short then int then double okay so this will be the widening conversation now let us move to the next question okay we have to again find the output of the below program so what it is given first you have to check it is given int num1 is equal to 20 then a num2 is taken in double which is equal to 0 if num1 greater than equal to 20 is it true yes because 20 is equal to 20 then num2 will be assigned with 1.5 so up to now num1 is 20 and num and num1 is 20 and num2 is 1.5 then it is uh, then it's asking if num1 is less than 30 yes because 20 is less than 30 then you have to put num2 is equal to 2 so num2 is now holding a value of 2 then here it is given you have to print system dot out print till and value of num2 is so your answer will be 2 but careful it is num2 is of data type double so your answer will be value of num is 2.0 so 1 and 3 are very close option so don't be in a hurry and properly choose your correct option your option will be third okay now let us move to the next question again i am telling if you have any doubt or any query or if you feel my answer is wrong because i am also human i can make mistake so please let me know in the comment section okay now next question so what will be the output of the below program okay it is given int num1 is equal to 25 int num2 is equal to 34 now num1 divided by 3 if we divide num1 by 3 then you will get 8 because 25 divided by 3 then quotient will be 8 and your remainder will be 1 as we are using division so your answer will be 8 and num2 by 4 so 34 by 4 uh, you will get again 8 because 4 is a 32 and 2 will remain as remainder so both are 8 so is 8 greater than equal to 8 yes so it satisfies the first condition then num1 is equal to num1 plus 1 so what will num so now, now num1 will become 26 so it will not come in the else part now system dot out print ln num1 you have to first print the num1 num1 is 26 so it will be either these two option 26 and num2 is not changed it is 34 only so your answer will be 26 and 34 so it will be your right answer okay now let us move to the next question if you see that these questions are very easy just you have to go step by step and do in a calm way otherwise you will do silly mistake and each mistake can cost your chance to get selected so be careful okay otherwise it is very easy now let us move to the next question now it is given what will be the output of the below program okay then first it is given boolean x is equal to true boolean y is equal to false if x and then y then we have to check one is true and other is false if one is true and other is, is false then it will become false only if both are true then only it will become true otherwise all false so 
this statement is false so it will go to else statement in else statement it will print false so the answer should be false yes so your option will be two false now it is given which of the following statements are correct public methods of a class can be accessed anywhere in the program yes it is right public methods can be accessed anywhere private methods of a class can be accessed only inside the class it is also true private methods can be accessed only inside the class only okay members created without any access modifier will have default access so it is also true so your answer will be all one two and three okay it is easy now let us move to the ninth question and it is your last question so you have to find the output so what it is given always remember always start from the main function okay then it will become easy for you and also it will take less time so it is given bike bike is equal to new bike so we have we are creating a variable a reference variable bike with the class bike okay then we are creating a reference variable honda or object of honda class we are creating an object of honda class now we are creating an object of honda class with the reference variable of bike that is with using the super class variable we are creating the object of subclass okay then system dot out print and bike dot speed limit so bike dot speed limit we are using the variable or the object of the bike class and with that object we are accessing the speed limit variable so it will go to this class and it will print 90 then we are using object of honda class to access the variable then it will give 150 now observe it carefully we are using the object the reference variable of the parent class and the object is made of the subclass in this case if we access a method then method of subclass will be called method of subclass will be called but if we access a variable then method of superclass all the or the parent class will be called so remember when we make a object of the subclass with the reference variable of the superclass we are making an object of the subclass with the reference variable of the superclass and if we call a method then method of subclass will be called if it is overridden method if it is not present in the subclass then it, the, then the superclass method will only be called but if we call a variable or if we want to access a variable then directly it will access the super class variable and also remember if that variable is not present in the super class then it will give you a error that is runtime error it will give you runtime error so what will be the answer here 95 90 because the variable of the super class will be called so it is very important question please remember and if possible write all the statements I have told again I am repeating for the last time if an object of the subclass is called with the reference variable of the super class then if we want to access the overridden method then the subclass method will be called if the method is only present in the super class then super class method will be called and if we want to access the variable then super class variable will be called and if the variable is not present in the 
super class or the parent class then it will give you a runtime error so your answer will be 90 50 and 90 so hope you have understood you have liked my session so if you want more videos please support me like the video subscribe the video and share the and share the video and then i will come up with more such videos thank you